Hi everyone, I'm Eric, an amateur astrophotographer, and welcome to What's Up in the Night Sky. On November 5th, a second supermoon will occur this year, marking the moon's closest approach to Earth and its orbit. This month's full moon is called the Beaver Moon, named for the beaver's nocturnal dam building ahead of the winter season in the Northern Hemisphere. Other names for the moon include the Frost Moon, Freezing Moon, Trading Moon, as used by Native Americans. The Leonid meteor showers peak around November 17th and 18th with around 15 meteors per hour under dark skies. You'll have to catch these after midnight as the constellation of Leo doesn't appear until the early morning hours. Periodic comet Temple Tuttle is responsible for the interstellar dust that appears in the meteors for the Leonids. One of the more famous Leonid meteor showers was recorded on November 17, 1966, where rates were as high as thousands of meteors per minute during a 15 minute span. November 20th is the new moon. It is this year's only micro moon. Micro moon is where the moon is the farthest from Earth in its orbit. Be sure to check out my 2026 cosmic calendar on my website at astroportal.com. I have my top 12 images of this year on a 11 inch by 17 inch wall calendar, along with important dates featured throughout the year, meteor showers, full moons, and the 2026 lunar eclipse. Before we go, be sure to check out this image I took of the Deer Lick group with my telescope this past month. This visual group of galaxies is located in the constellation Pegasus, known as NGC 7331. There is a barred spiral galaxy along with four other galaxies affectionately called Fleas. These galaxies are anywhere from 294 to 365 million light years away. This group of galaxies is an amazing sight to see in a telescope. Be sure to check out my other videos on surveying the cosmos as I go over the top space news stories real fast. Also, I have other videos on astrophotography. Smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you later on the next episode. Until then, take care and clear skies.